The federal high court in the Buja has struck out the charges against the hashtag Ed Bad Governance protesters. The trial judge of Bureau Aguatu threw out the charges following its withdrawal by the Antonio General Latif Fagwemi on behalf of the Nigerian government. Fagwemi, represented by the Director of Public Prosecution of the Federation during the proceedings, announced his exercise of Section 174 of the 1999 Constitution to take over the case from the Inspector General of Police. The Antony General subsequently applied to discontinue the trial of the protesters who are mostly minors. The judge granted a request and struck out the charges. Although the accused persons were not in the courtroom, the judge ordered their immediate release from prison. The court proceeding was witnessed by the new Minister of Human Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, Ntawe Yawada and Femi Falana San. Well, we return <coughs> home, we want to do also due, I mean, due process of ensuring that they are medically fit. So we, we take them for safekeeping in the facility and make sure they're medically checked. And where we need to make additional treatment, we take care of them so that uh, psychologically they're also tested and we ensure that they're safely and well treated and taken care of and giving human, you know, you know, a human face to what happened. So, uh, that we are calling on the federal government to take steps to return these children to their homes and then embark on rehabilitating them and as we have applied to the court to also enroll them in schools. We are also calling on the governments of Kaduna and Kano states to take urgent steps to have these children particularly taken back to their homes. Uh, yesterday, 19 people were also charged in Borno State, including minors. Again, we are calling on the government to discontinue all cases pending in different states with respect to the August protest. I'm also aware that 16 people are standing trial in Kano. Initially, 632 were arraigned before a mobile court, but today 16 are still standing trial in court. Once the government has recognized the constitutional rights of Nigerians to protest, the criminalization of protests in Nigeria must stop. President Bolet Sinibo had on Monday directed the Antony General to terminate the charges against the accused persons following the widespread outrage that greeted the arraignment on account of alleged treason.